BYD is shaking up the EV industry once again with its groundbreaking plug-in hybrid powertrain, setting new benchmarks in efficiency and performance. With a completely reimagined engine and transmission, this innovation promises record-breaking features. But can BYD truly deliver on its bold claims? And when will car enthusiasts get their hands on this game-changing technology? Stay with us as we uncover everything about this revolutionary leap and what's in store for the near future. Just a few months ago, BYD introduced its fifth-generation DM plug-in hybrid powertrain, a true game-changer in the world of electrified vehicles. Available in three distinct variants, the efficient DMI, the high-performance DMP, and the rugged off-road DMO, this powertrain redefines hybrid technology. Its staggering thermal efficiency of 46.06% is unmatched and it boasts the world's lowest fuel consumption at just 2.9 liters per 100 km with an astonishing driving range of 2,100 km. This hybrid system is the result of years of development meticulously designed alongside BYD's cutting-edge battery technology. The first lucky models to receive this innovation are the sleek BYD Chin LDME and the sporty SEAL 06 DMI. Before diving into these exciting new models, let's rewind and explore how BYD became a powerhouse in electric mobility. Founded in 1995 in Shenzhen, China by Wang Chuanfu, BYD originally specialized in rechargeable batteries. However, in 2003, the company made a bold move into the automotive world, launching its first vehicle, the BYD F3, a compact sedan that quickly gained popularity for its affordability and fuel efficiency. Then, in 2008, BYD revolutionized the market with the F3DM, one of the world's first plug-in hybrids, setting the stage for its electric future. Fast forward to today and BYD's latest creations, the Chin L DMI and Seal 06 DMI are making waves. The Chin L DMI is a stylish sedan that rivals the Toyota Camry. It comes with a 1.5-litre four-cylinder naturally aspirated engine paired with an electric motor available in either 120 kilogavit or 160 kilodots configurations. Battery options range from 10.08 kilobatteries to 15.87 ki, delivering an electric-only range of 80 to 120 kilowatts depending on the model. These powertrains aren't just concepts, they are already in full production, ready for customers eager to experience the next evolution of hybrid technology. BYD isn't just following trends, it's setting them. Are we witnessing the future of hybrid mobility? One thing's for sure, the competition is officially on notice. BYD's stock has since experienced a boost, with its shares jumping almost 7% a week after its launch. BYD isn't just driving, they're speeding past the competition. CLSA predicts that by 2026, BYD will enter the top five automakers in the world, with 92 octane gasoline priced at 7.4 yuan, which is equivalent to 1.02 per liter. Running costs are around 0.25 yuan per kilometer. This brings it closer to the cost of pure electric vehicles, which average about 0.16 yuan per kilometer. BYD pioneered plug-in technology in 2008 by launching its first hybrid car. But automakers have since released their own cars with ranges as high as 2,000 kilometers. For example, on May 24th, Lee Auto introduced the L7, boasting a 254 kilo range, fuel consumption of 3.8 liters per 100 kilo, and an engine thermal efficiency of 41.8%. In March, Geely Auto also revealed a hybrid system offering a range of over 2,000 km fuel consumption as low as 2 litres per 100 km and thermal efficiency above 46%. Aside from local brands, BYD is also competing with Toyota and Honda. While Toyota and Honda's hybrid engines have a thermal efficiency of around 41%, BYD's fifth-generation DM engine stands out with a higher efficiency of 46.06%. BYD's cutting-edge technology marks a major step forward in the global hybrid vehicle market 
and the Chinese company is likely to pull even further ahead of its rivals. However, this sudden price drop sparked protests among customers who had already paid the higher price and had waited months for delivery. With banners in hand, these frustrated buyers expressed their dissatisfaction, feeling that BYD had undervalued their commitment and loyalty. In spite of all these controversies, one thing is clear. BYD takes the lead in the EV industry. Generally, independent mechanics are known for their more individualized care and cheaper rates. But they often have difficulty maintaining the equipment and diagnostic software required for extensive repairs. Self-employed mechanics frequently take great pride in their work and cultivate enduring bonds with their clients. However, these mechanics might be limited in the range of services they can offer if they do not have access to the relevant data and updates from manufacturers. The constraints to accessing these tools due to proprietary software change the entire landscape of auto maintenance and repair. This simply means that these mechanics risk losing customers and the customers themselves would spend more on repairs. The auto repair landscape is evolving and not necessarily for the better. In an attempt to reduce the impact on independent technicians, some automakers are providing repair information, diagnostic tools and manuals to mechanics, though often at a cost. This helps repair shops service EVs but limits free access. EV companies also perform many repairs remotely through software updates, reducing the need for in-person service. To fill these gaps, some deploy mobile technicians. However, completely relying on remote fixes and mobile reps risks limiting independent shops' roles. As a result, some manufacturers collaborate more closely with third parties through training, tools and support. Customers are also worried that automakers may be economizing by sacrificing some features. This calls for urgent attention because producing vehicles that are less dependable or have shorter lifespans could discourage customers from purchasing them in the future. This may start a cycle in which businesses cut costs without addressing the underlying problems with quality. People may start to feel less confident in purchasing electric vehicles if cost-cutting initiatives make automobiles less dependable and this might slow down the transition toward more environmentally friendly transportation as customers continue to hold quality and trust very dearly in their choice of automobiles. Navigating the high stakes of owning and maintaining EVs becomes crucial. It isn't uncommon for customers to want to cash in on their automobiles. One barrier, however, is that if people are made to believe electric cars are less robust, then the resale value of EVs may decrease dramatically. This decrease can cause prospective customers to avoid buying an EV, further challenging the market for these cars. It's also possible that the infrastructure for electric vehicles, such as maintenance facilities and charging stations, won't expand quickly enough to keep up with demand. If charging or maintaining an EV becomes very difficult, a person may choose to continue driving conventional gasoline vehicles.